16 cases in the state. Two of them here reported, and one on Oahu, the other a Big Island resident who was actually diagnosed out of state. The statewide total now stands at 655. There were no new recoveries reported today, and one previously reported recovery was removed after the health department updated its own testing information. Meanwhile, as the state reopens, the Department of Health is urging people to return to the doctor's office, and not just for a routine checkup, but to get important vaccinations to keep them healthy. Kimberly Speakman has more. With school getting back in session in two months, the State Department of Health is recommending that children catch up on their physical exams and vaccinations. The last thing we need uh, in the middle of uh, a pandemic is uh, another an outbreak of measles or mumps or some other infectious disease. This goes for adults as well. Henkin says they're expecting a rise in appointments since many haven't been in for routine checkups for weeks. Certainly playing some catch up in terms of services as offices return to um, the new normal and more um, patient uh, volume in general. It's going to get harder to get uh, appointment times. But don't expect your visit to the doctor's office to be the same. When you come in, uh, they might be checking your temperature earlier than they normally did in, in your usual screening. They might be asking you about symptoms related to COVID before you even uh, enter the office. At Doctors of Waikiki, you can see some of the changes as soon as you walk in. Markings on the floor encouraging you to keep six feet apart. Fewer chairs in the waiting room. While walk-ins are accepted, appointments are preferred. And depending on the patient and their symptoms, they might not even need to step foot in the building. And many things that we do sometimes don't require physical touch. And so I think in those circumstances, it's a lot safer to be able to do telemedicine if that's what they're requesting. If a patient is coughing or showing other forms of respiratory illness, Doctors of Waikiki has made changes for that as well. So that way, in case it is corona, they're only in these, one, these, these two rooms that we've uh, set up to be that way. And then, and then we wear PPE. Not only mask and gloves, we'll wear like a face shield. Dr. Henkin says people should always call their doctor before showing up, especially if they have COVID like symptoms like shortness of breath or a fever. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.